how to use dropship io hello everyone and welcome back in today's video i'll be showing you guys step by step on how you can get started with using this amazing dropshipping tool called dropship io so let's get started now what is dropshipping and what does dropship io actually allow you to do well, Dropship.io is a dropshipping solution where you can find and monitor stores to gain insights into their revenue, sales, product, applications, and much more. They allow you to see ad libraries for different types of stores, for different types of niches, and you're able to monitor your competitors very closely. It is applicable to all sellers in Shopify, Amazon, eBay, WooCommerce, and BigCommerce, and they allow you to access millions of products. So let's get started started with dropship io the first step is to start your free trial and for that just click on start free trial over here once you click on start free trial you're going to have to sign up you have two options you can either sign up with google apple or you can sign up with your email address i'm going to get started with google because that just makes the onboarding process really quick and i can directly show you guys the platform so you guys can actually learn about how to use this to its fullest potential now once you have signed up on dropship.io it's going to take a couple of seconds even if you're just doing it via the email version then you have to choose your plan so there are three basic plans on the dropship io platform we have the basic plan standard and premium the basic has 20 searches per day for the product database and the competitor research and product tracker as well as product drops then you get 10,000 store credits for ad spot and ad libraries with 10 store trackers and you also uh, do get 20 to 40 products per week in terms of product drops. Now, when you take a look at the standard version, you have unlimited searches in the product research or the product database as well as competitor research. Then you also have the premium version where you have unlimited as well as 50 thousand credits for ad spot ad library 50 store trackers 100 product trackers and more so we're gonna get started with the basic version so i can show you guys what you can do even on the basic version of dropship bio so i'm just gonna complete this information and i'll get back to you guys in a second now once you have completed your basic setup you can move towards your next step which is your dashboard so you're going to click on go to dashboard over here and you have a couple of options from here. If you want AI to generate a store for you, if you don't have a store and you just want to proceed by yourself, or if you already have a Shopify store. So if you want to connect your Shopify store to Dropship.io, simply select the first option and then click on continue. Now, once you've done that, this will directly open up the Shopify app store and I'm just going to click on install over here. Once I click on install, the application will be installed into my Shopify store because I've already logged on to Shopify using Dropship.io. Now, once you have Dropship.io connected, we can just proceed over here and we're going to go back into our account dashboard. Now, in your dashboard, you're going to have several different tools. You can search their ad library, you can search their product database, you have a sale tracker, competitor research, and portfolio. So starting off, let's take a look at their ad library. You can search for a particular type of ad where you're trying to find the best strategy. For example, if I have a candle shop, I'm just going to search for candle over here, okay? Once I do that, I can see all of the inactive as well as active uh, campaigns, the creation date, the last scene, and below that, you will also get metrics including countries, gender, what are the uh, specifics that they are targeting, and you can replicate those strategies. Now, if I have a particular brand in mind, I can look at their brand, okay? And I can actually filter out what is going to work best because it's a similar brand to us. You also have filters where you can choose the ad creative type and the type of ads they have, as well as the ad set amount, the reach that they are getting, the ad running time, and the selling price. You can choose a particular category as well. So if I'm going to deselect all these categories, I only want to look at clothing and jewelry. And I just want to search for fashion over here. And I'm going to click on search over here with these filters. And this is going to allow me to see some successful ad campaigns. I can go ahead and also choose a specific ad set amount or ad spend, which I am also willing to add to my own ad budget. Now you can see on the top right, I have my total credits as well as the search credits I have used. Each ad scene is one credit used. Then after that, we have our ad spot. Now, what is the ad spot? Well, 
you can take a look at each individual ad on Facebook so you can get insights into it. You can see in your quick search, we have dropshipping ads, best performers, and weekly winners. I want to take a look at some of the best performers, and we can even click on the filters to further filter them. I want high engagement, high shares, a video length, comments, and then you guys can see some of the top performers where they're getting the most reactions. They have an abundance of reactions over here, and we can choose the ad creation date. So you want recent ads that were creative so when you're replicating those strategies those are not old strategies because sure an old advert that has been performing well in the past two years may not be performing well currently so you want to look at current ads that are still running in our call to actions we have a uh, shop now and learn more then our website provider is either Shopify or WooCommerce. Let's say I only want to go for Shopify stores, then I can click on search. And now these are all going to be Shopify stores that have high performing ad sets. And I can just take a look at any of the ad sets. And once I do that, if I click on any of these ads over here, I can get further insights into that particular campaign that they are running. So the creation date, the discovered, and the last seen active the ad sharing same URL. So there are two other ads that are sharing the same URL. So there are three ads that are very similar. Their engagement type is pretty high in terms of reactions, but in terms of comments, it's lower. And with shares, it's, it's all right. It's not performing that well. But if we take a look at their store apps, they have three, they have 20 store products and Considering how much this was reacted to, I definitely can say that it would have increased their store engagement. Now, below that, we have a product database. We can search for a particular product, so we can proceed with price. We can filter this out in categories. So first off, let's say that we are in the clothing industry. So we're going to select clothing for fashion. We have beauty and personal care toys patio musical instruments advanced filters so then we're going to set a maximum price let's say i want to look for products under 50 dollars where they have over 100 in monthly sales i want to make over 10,000 in revenue i don't have a specific store no images no variants then i can go into advanced filters and look at product creation dates so I want the product to not be too old, so I'm going to go with September, and right now it's January, last 90 days. And then we have our store creation date, it doesn't matter, language, currency, domain, it doesn't matter. You can also include keywords as well, and then after that you can just click on search and exclude unavailable products, yeah. And now it's going to search for some of the top performing products out there. I'm just going to wait for it to find the products that would fit under this niche. If you don't get any search results, that probably means that you have narrowed out your search a bit too much. But usually you can find amazing products. You guys can see we have several different products here and I can click on track over here to track their monthly revenue. And then you also have a sales trackers where you can track revenues for a particular product. You can see what other stores are making, what are their top performing products. And then below that, you have your competitor research. So you can choose to search for competitor by their product and you're able to see their complete store information and you're able to replicate those results by getting valuable data. Then below that, you have your own portfolio, which is going to be uh, directly imported from your own store and you can get insights into how you can perform better. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you are now able to get started with Dropship.io. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or queries, you can leave them in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.